back to Partly, yeah, good time to refresh, but also want to get, as soon as you have a loss like the game against St Helens, you want to get straight back out there. So um, we've been working hard in training. We've had um, some really good opportunities to sit down and review together. So um, we know where we went wrong and where we need to be better. Um, and we've had a good opportunity to get that right in training. So we're excited to get back out there. And it's even better that it's at Headingley as well um, and make sure that we can, we can make sure we get a, a great performance come Saturday. Have you been pleased with the attitude of the girls since they've come back in and their honesty about that performance? Yeah, we know it's early doors as well. Look, it's early doors. We've had a lot of disruption with injuries and, you know, players players are moving in and out of teams. So we know that um, it's early days, massively early days, and we've got some, some time to make sure that we're ready when it comes to a semi-final, final and things like that. So we're really, you know, we're really happy with how the girls have responded, the conversations we've had, the reflections that they've had about their own performance and collective performances um, and we know that together we'll make sure we're, we're better for it. You've got to learn and if we do that then we'll be alright come the end of the year. Uh, it's, um, it's a beautiful weekend again, brilliant weather so it's a great opportunity for us to showcase the great players that we've got on show, um, the great game that is rugby league and I know that Lee will be really up for a real tough contest with us and we know that we're going to have a, a real tough tough day with them in the quarterfinals so we're really looking forward, about, forward to the opportunity to play against Lee and um, we know that they'll, they'll come with um, with a, a you know a real great team and a real great great attitude, they're, they're going to play at Headingley as we are, and that's exciting for any player, any club, and any fan wanting to come watch, come and come and watch us at Headingley. It's free of charge. It's going to be a beautiful day, so we're looking forward to see as many fans there as we can. We played Lee last year, but it's a very different time. Would you say that they've been pushing some sides, haven't they, in the Challenge Cup? Yeah, yeah, definitely a, a very different team, and you know we won't be looking into that result at all. Um, we know that Lee are going to be a strong team, and we've got to be um, at our best to make sure we get a, a good performance and and performance comes, a result comes, so yeah, we're looking forward to playing them against them, and um, we know they'll be much improved, um, and we're just looking, for, like I say, looking forward to getting back out there at Headingley. Just two final things, two positives, you've had three players named in the England's night squad, how proud are you of them, and obviously well deserved? Um, yeah, really proud of the girls that have, have been been selected, and I, I think that we've got a handful of girls who have been knocking on the door as well, um, to be selected by Stu Barrow later on in the year, so it's uh, really exciting for some of them starting the journey, and it's uh, good for the girls that we've got in our squad to see that they're opportunities are there and if they keep working hard I'm pretty sure that come the end of the year or really next year they'll definitely be in that environment. Yeah. Um, we're really proud of Ruby. Um, she's obviously had a real tough time with injury. She had an ACL injury due, like just before COVID, and then obviously with, with COVID happening, uh, surgery delayed, and no academy training because it were all not allowed to happen because of COVID. Street bubble, so couldn't come and access physio from the women. Um, so she's had a real tough ride, but um, she's been really good since she got back to playing games at the academy. She's been a leader within that team. She's definitely a talented athlete and a talented rugby player, um, and we just know that she needs to be in this environment to push herself to be the very best. Um, you know, and she's she's going to feature this season for us and, and, and she's going to be a great asset but the thing that you know made us want to bring her is, is she worked hard she was resilient and she just kept going when she had a real tough time with injury and I think that you know your character what, what you show when you're at your toughest point in life is 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 probably quite true to yourself and she never moan never give up and uh, she's worked really hard so she'll get the reward that she does uh, as and when it comes from, from a hard work and determination.